Shemot, Exodus 21. Now these are the judgments which you shall set before them. If you obtain an Ivri servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his woman shall go out with him. If his master have given him a woman, and she have borne him sons or daughters, the woman and her children shall be her masters, and she, rather, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love at my master, at my woman, and at my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall pierce at his ear through with an awl. And he shall serve him forever. And if a man surrenders at his daughter to be a maid servant, she shall not go out as the men servants do. If she please not her master, who has betrothed her to himself, then shall he let her be redeemed to surrender her unto a strange nation. He shall have no power, seeing he has dealt deceitfully with her. And if he have betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him another woman, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish. And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. He that smites a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. And if a man lie not in wait, but Elohim deliver him into his hand, then I will appoint you a place whither he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with guile, you shall take him from my altar that he may die. And he that smites his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. And he that steals a man and sells him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall be surely, rather, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And if men strive together and one smite at another with a stone or with his fist, and he die not, but keeps his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him be innocent. Only he shall pay for the loss of his time and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. And if a man smite at his servant or at his maid with a rod and he die under his hand, he shall be surely punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his money. If men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished, according as the woman's man will lay upon him and he shall pay as the judges determine. And if any mischief follow, then you shall give life for life, 
eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. And if a man smite at the eye of his servant, and at the eye of his maid, that it perish, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his man's servant's tooth, rather, his man-servant's tooth, or his maid-servant's tooth, he shall let him go free for his tooth's sake. If an ox gore at a man, or at a woman, and that they die, then the ox shall be surely stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten. But the owner of the ox shall be innocent. But if the ox were wont to push with his horn in time past, and it has been testified to his owner, and he has not kept him in, but that he has killed a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and his owner also shall be put to death. If there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. Whether he have gored a son or have gored a daughter, according to this judgment shall it be done unto him. If the ox shall push, push rather, if the ox shall push a man-servant or a maid-servant, he shall give unto their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit, and not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall therein, the owner of the pit shall make it good and give money unto the owner of them. The dead beast shall be his. And if at the ox of one man hurts at the ox of another that he die, then they shall sell the live ox and divide at the money of it. And at the dead ox also they shall divide. Or if it be known that the ox has used, has used to push in time past, and his owner has not kept him in, he shall surely pay ox for ox, and the dead shall be his own.